So a quick question on climate, which is on my mind because it's you know about 15 degrees above normal from last <laughs> week, and there's a fire burning uh, near Large Mountain, and it's smoky. Mm-hmm. I drove through the Klamath Basin twice this summer, mm-hmm. and lovely place to ride the rim of Crater Lake. Mm-hmm. And I gotta tell you, I don't think I've ever seen a place that's so affected by mm-hmm. climate change. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's changing. You know, I couldn't see the lake when I drove by one day because it was so smoky. You've talked about getting rid of the renewable fuel standard and doing away with some other executive actions on climate. Technically, What's suspending the temporarily, not getting rid of. Uh, there's and, and okay. frankly, the original legislation allowed for that, uh, based on price. And so I, I have talked about suspending it for purposes of addressing the crisis that families are facing right now with affordability. And so that's when they're getting rid of it. So you'd do something different down the road? You would temporarily suspend it and then you'd reinstitute it again. So Re- it's, reinstitute the same plan? Yeah, you, all, all you do is you temporarily suspend. We're, we're talking do, about clean fuels. And we're doing that be, now because, I'm sorry, because the economy's in rough shape? We're doing that right now because of the price of gas at the tank today and and the effect that people are experiencing from the impact of the clean fuels program, which raises, which raises costs at, at the pump. Um, isn't it? Isn't the price increase sort of a drop in the bucket compared to OPEC cutting production? There's no doubt that that's true, but I think barrels. you have to do what you can where you can. It's entirely true that it, that there are complex issues that impact the price of gas at the pump. But I think that recognizing that, you do what you can where you can. Okay. Anybody else on climate? Well, that that is a really nuanced approach now because at the debate you said you'd get rid of the low carbon. Fuel I said program. suspend. The, well, uh, there's well, a difference. Not, oh, okay. Well, the clean fuels program is very effective. It's the number one thing we're doing in our state to reduce carbon emissions from transportation fuels. It's effective. It's cost effective, um, and. You know, so you would not, you would not, you would disagree with her. You would not. Suspend. Absolutely, I have okay. fought to keep that program going. Now, here's what I would say: is I hear from, you know, Representative Drazen and Senator Johnson that they believe in climate change. No, no proposals about sure that. No, no. Just, to, just to flag. To it be together. honest, I think both of you will say anything to get elected on this issue because you do not have a plan. You have opposed everything, and yes, you have said you would rip up the executive orders. You don't have a plan. You can't say you care about climate action and then not have an option. Tina, of I thought you knew my legislative record. I'm a little bit surprised. What legislative record? I've sat in rooms with you when you have brought nothing to the table on this issue. Nothing. I actually signed on to legislation in the last session that supported very specific federal response to this and in fact testified in support of it in the Senate. It, you guys killed it in the House. I have no idea what you're talking about. I know, I'm really surprised. Well, can you tell us what bill you're talking about? Yeah, I think it was SJM5, something like that. The Memorial Resolution to Congress? Yes, I support that is federal your action. Plan. It's, here's the thing, Oregon has been carrying a disproportionate burden given our actual impact on climate. And what we actually need, this is my actual perspective on this, I've told you this a million times, is that the right approach to climate is to approach this at a federal level and the reason is because our state, as small as it is, as mighty and beautiful as it is, should not be disproportionately impacted. You need a plan that does not in fact, harm businesses and economies within your state border. You need a plan that actually has an effect on a global scale. You can achieve that with, with federal action. My support for the proposal said, this in fact is a carbon tax. All of it then gets returned to Oregonians. You're not growing government. It had a suspension of additional regulations over the term that it was initially being implemented. It was a well-rounded and appropriate response to climate at the federal level, which I have always supported. Okay. Did Senator you, Johnson, did you support the fuel standard? Oh, I always want to ask. Did you just quickly? Did you support? Would you uh, support um, the Inflation Reduction Act? Then if that, that's that's a federal attempt to. It's 100% a hundred percent a federal attempt, but that's a, that's literally a federal attempt that's all about increasing revenues for the government. That is so not you didn't, the same. You would vote no, no. on that if you were in no, the so House or the Senate. Yes. Okay. Okay. Sorry. And I'm not running for Congress, but yeah. Understood. Yeah. But you mentioned a federal response. Senator Johnson, yeah. low, car- low carbon fuel standard. I, I want to comment first on the Klamath Basin. That was the original question. Yeah. Um, the government Governor Brown discharged a team led by Richard Whitman down there to try to find a resolution. And I don't know what happened after all the money that was spent, after all the effort. It, the appearance to some of us that watched from a distance was, this got really hard and complicated and we just walked away. I was down in Climate Falls and met with some producers and irrigators and this one young kid that was there at the table, I said, what are you going to do when you finish high school? 
and he said, I, I'd like to go to OSU and get some education in agribusiness so I could come back and run my father's ranch, but there won't be any water. And I, I don't know when by the time I come up if that's going to be soluble. I just think that that's another example, I propose your question about Governor Brown's um, administration of the state. We don't have a solution, and she listed that as a high priority for a very long time. Uh, and, and so I just make that observation. In low carbon fuel standard, uh, Representative Drazen said she would suspend it. Kotex says that's a bad idea. What, what would you do with the low carbon fuel standard? I would want to review how the low carbon uh, fuel standard has been embedded in an administrative rule. I think while Kate Brown has had her head turned and is not watching the agencies, that an awful lot of liberties have been taken by bias state agency heads to build all sorts of strictures into administrative rule. Um, some of that low carbon fuel standard is driving costs that are making Oregon an unattractive place to either retrain, retain or recruit business. And while I'm very supportive of doing what Oregon can, given our de minimis share of global climate crisis, I think we ought to uh, pay attention to the fiscal aspects and just how difficult it has made as far as the business climate here. I would say that Oregon ought to focus on the unique things that we are able to do. Specifically, don't let the place burn down every year. We need to harmonize our forest management with our federal partners who own a big chunk of this state. We need to harmonize firefighting. The Fed's philosophy is to let fires get way ahead of us before we go in and put them out. Oregon has earned, and appropriately so, an international reputation for initial attack. We don't do that anymore. We let these fires get way out of control before we go in. As governor, I would make sure that we not only negotiate aggressively with our federal delegation to harmonize those uh, federal and state response to both forest management and fire, but I would also build into my budget plenty of money for air assets, boots on the ground to go fight these fires, fight them aggressively. Uh, and I, I think we have gotten away from that. One of the prime objectives of government in Oregon is don't let the place burn down on our watch. Okay, 